Today on Tricro Studios, we have a little bit of fun with the Christmas present that I'm getting my daughter for Christmas. Uh, and we ask the question of, will it meddle? with a Squire Mini Stratocaster in shell pink. All right, so there was the sound sample. Of course, um, with a Strat, you roll back the tone a little bit between seven and nine, sometimes down to five. Uh, and with something like a, a VHT, um, which is now Fryette, Pitbull Ultra Lead, you're bound to run into some metal type tones. I also tuned this down to drop B, which is not tough at all. Um, it handled it things quite well. Um, and yeah, so again, I'm getting this for my six-year-old daughter for Christmas. She has no idea I'm going to get it for her. My wife doesn't even know I bought it for her. Um, and it, it's one of those things where, you know what, when she would uh, come downstairs, it's not very often, it's not all the time that she comes downstairs uh, into the studio area with the different rooms here. Um, but when she does come down and asks to play guitar, it's always this guitar here, which is her favorite. But uh, sometimes she wants me to play this one and she grabs this guitar or this guitar. And, you know, I started to smell a little bit of a theme going on here. And then, of course, she said, do they actually make these guitars in pink? So how could I not? Uh, I also introduced her to... Uh, Orianthe and Lizzie Hale, which she was super excited over Lizzie Hale because her name is Elizabeth, and you can kind of see how that works out. Uh, anyway, she's six, and she's going to be super excited. She's probably not going to play it all the time, um, but she's learned things like uh, Super Mario Brothers, uh, like the level two Super Mario Brothers, and uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, which she absolutely loves. Anyway, most of you are watching this video because it looks kind of funny, uh, and it's, it's a three-quarter size guitar. But some of you out there are actually looking to get this for your kids, for maybe for Christmas or whatever time of year it is. Um, and, you know, it's something that they're looking in to get into this. I'm going to make another video, so um, take a look out for that. But I do want to answer some of the questions that I know you're going to have. Uh, is this a cheap guitar? This is a cheap guitar. This is a cheaply made guitar, but it is a comfortably cheap guitar. So um, this is something I had no qualms about whatsoever picking up for my daughter um, because I, I know that compared to like an expensive guitar or a moderately priced guitar, 
Um, there's going to be some drawbacks to this, but it's going to be solid as a learning tool. And at this price, to be honest, if she doesn't learn uh, or doesn't really want to keep going with it, it's not that big of a deal. I can mount this on her wall and she'll love it. Um, but here's a few things to look out for. Uh, when I got this, the neck was bowed, so it was like this. You want a little bit of a bow to it, but not that much. Uh, so because of that, it looked like the action, uh, so the strings were too high from here back. So I actually got a um, Allen key, fit it in here, and I turned it up, <laughs> which then straightened the neck a little bit. You don't want it perfectly straight, but straight enough. I then put on uh, 10 gauge strings, so 10 to 46. Uh, just because it's a short scale guitar, um, it creates a little more tension so things aren't too loose. And I've yet to actually intonate this. The drawback here um, would be the bridge and something I've noticed on the neck. So the bridge itself, very hard to restring, not very hard. It's awkward um, and not very well designed. So basically you feed the strings in through here. It's not a string through body. Uh, you feed the strings in through the back and then you have to flip the saddle over to kind of actually feed it through and then string things up. A little dusty. Uh, uh, anyway, the, it's it's a little awkward to do that. The bridge itself, the way that it's designed, I don't know if like the, it feels like there's a little bit of movement, which can actually cause this to go out of tune a little bit. Um, as long as you tune it the proper way to do it, you won't have too many issues. The other thing is the neck. Um, the, it's, it's a comfortable neck. Um, no real issues, there's no finish on it, which is nice for a bolt-on. However, uh, you can kind of see there's right here, maybe you can't, uh, but where the, where the figuring is and everything uh, on the back of the neck, it, it's actually, it feels like an indentation there. So I don't know um, if maybe, yeah, I don't know. It kind of looks, kind of looks like there was a bubble uh, on the back of the neck. So that's something that you can feel. So just be aware that might be something that you may run into. Does it affect playability or learning on this guitar? No, but it's something they'll actually feel. So you might run into that. Uh, tuners on it are basic tuners. They're not really gonna give you that many issues. Um, and as far as tuning, if you're not aware, the best way to do it is make sure it's lower than what it needs to be. Um, and then tug your strings, just like that. And then tune it up to pitch, never down. And then once it's in tune, tug on the strings again, and then tune it up to pitch again. Do that two or three times actually with this, three or four times, and it'll actually stay in tune. Um, yeah, really, that's, uh, that's all I have to say here. There's gonna be another video where I go over different things other than just metal. Um, but I'm very happy to actually get this for my six-year-old girl. And um, I also bought the case. So it actually does not come with the case. It'll come in a box. Uh, but for $60 Canadian, uh, probably $40 US, it's uh, very worth it, I think, to get this because it's a quite padded case. Like, it's not like some of them are like just very, very thin. This actually has some padding to it. A um, little section where they can put cardboard in there to have their name on it. Uh, and it's got a nice little zippered pouch uh, where you can hold different things like your picks strings and you can put like another ID card. Um, I think it's a little too big or sorry a little too small to hold like guitar books and stuff but um, you might be able to make that work it kind of does pop out but anyway thanks for watching this is gonna be another video if you're curious about this actual guitar for your child uh, or just for you like you can play this in the car